Following the IITs, NITs are the dream go-to destination for engineering aspirants all over the country. In fact, several NITs are ranked above the IITs and prove themselves to be the technical hub of the nation. Welcome to College Suggest. And in this video, we are comparing NIT Trichy with NIT Varangal and NIT Suratkal. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications on your favorite college details, college comparisons, courses, careers, and more. As always, we will only consider the facts that are submitted by the college to the NIRF for the 2019 ranking. We we'll leave the link in the description below. The National Institute of Technology Varangal is the oldest among the three as it was established in 1959. Following it, NIT Suratkal was established in 1960, while NIT Trichy was established in 1964. All the institutions received the Institute of National Importance status by the National Institutes of Technology Act in 2007 on the 15th of August 2007. When it comes to different NIRF scores, all three institutions have given their best. Now let's look at their scores under each parameter. Under Teaching, Learning and Resources, NIT Trichy has scored 68.36%. Following it, NIT Varangal has scored 68.19% and NIT Suratkal has scored 59.48%. Under Research and Professional Practices, again NIT Trichy takes a lead with 46.64% while NIT Suratkal has scored 41.31% and NIT Varangal has scored 31.77%. Under Graduation Outcomes, NIT Suratkal has given the best score with 75.46% while NIT Trichy has scored 72.76% and NIT Varangal has scored 72.49%. Again, NIT Trichy has performed better in outreach and inclusivity with a score of 62.6%. NIT Varangal has a score of 54.98% and NIT Suratkal has scored 50.4% under this parameter. Under Public Perception, NIT Trichy has scored 63.54%, NIT Suratkal has scored 48.85% and NIT Varangal has scored 32.17%. Comprising all of these, NIT Trichy has an overall NIRF score of 61.62%, while NIT Suratkal comes in with a score of 55.25% and NIT Varangal has a score of 53.21%. When it comes to the NIRF ranking, NIT Trichy takes the lead by moving up to the 10th rank. On the other hand, NIT Suratkal consistently maintains its rank at number 21 and NIT Varangal has dropped a bit to the 26th rank. However, all the institutions hold a place among the top set. NIT Trichy is located in Tiruchirappalli, Tamil Nadu. The nearest railway station is the Trichy Junction, which is about 23 kilometers away. The closest airport is the Trichy International Airport and it is also about 24 kilometers away. NIT Varangal is located at Fatima Nagar, Telangana. The nearest railway station is the Kazi Pet Junction, which is 3.4 km away, and the nearest international airport is the Rajiv Gandhi International Airport, which is 167 km away from the institution. NIT Suratkal is located at Mangalore, Karnataka. The nearest railway station is Mangalore Central, which is 19 km away from the institution, and the nearest airport is Mangalore International Airport, which is 18 km away. Among the three, NIT Trichy has the biggest campus, with an area of 800 acres on the banks of the river Kaveri. The campus comprises dense trees and well-landscaped pathways that offer a great environment for students to gain and spread knowledge. Following this, NIT Suratkal's lush green campus spreads over 300 acres with world-class infrastructure and notably, there's a beach which is very close to NIT Suratkal's campus that adds to the beauty of the college. NIT Varangal's campus has an area of 248 acres. It is a self-contained residential campus with all the basic facilities available on campus. Apart from this, all three institutions offer excellent learning atmosphere with modern classrooms, high-tech labs, and all the facilities for overall development of the students. These colleges offer separate hostels for boys and girls. NIT Trichy has 28 hostels, NIT Varangal has 20 hostels, and NIT Suratkal has 17 hostels. These hostels provide a comfortable stay for the students and are well-maintained and clean, which is overseen by a team of experienced wardens. The homely atmosphere creates a positive environment that motivates students to keep focusing on their goals. The library is an integral part of any institution. 
All three institutions have outstanding library facilities, which consist of a large collection of books catering to the needs of students, teachers, and research scholars. NIT Warangal has the highest number of books with a count of over 1.79 lakh, while NIT Suratkal has over 1.3 lakh books and NIT Chichi has over 1.29 lakh books. Apart from these, the libraries consist of various e-journals, reports, newspapers, projects, theses, and audio-visual materials. These institutions create awareness and provide a platform for sports and physical fitness. There are dedicated grounds for all major sports. The institutions not only provide great sports facilities, but also encourage their students to take part in various events happening in and around the college. The institutions also show their active participation in the Inter-NIT meets by hosting some events. At the Inter-NIT Sports Meet 2019-2020, all three institutions host a set of games. The Joint Entrance Examination Main is the common admission test for all students seeking UG admissions from NITs. For PG admissions, candidates with a valid GATE score have to undergo the centralized counseling, which is an online admission process. Computer science is the most preferred branch these days. NIT Trichy has an opening rank of 938 and a closing rank of 2058 for this, under the general category. For NIT Varangal, the opening rank for the same is 287 and the closing rank is 400. For NIT Suratkal, it is 1,071 and 1,102 for the closing rank. The complete list for the opening and closing ranks for all the programs under different categories are available in the description box below. NIT Trichy offers 9 BTEC and 21 MTEC programs. NIT Warangal offers 8 BTEC and 25 MTEC programs. And NIT Suratkal offers 9 BTEC and 26 MTEC programs. NIT Trichy has a larger approved intake for BTEC seats with a count of 884. NIT Suratkal intakes 868 BTEC students and NIT Warangal intakes 800 students. NIT Suratkal intakes a high number of MTEC students with 642 seats. Following this is NIT Trichy with 582 seats and NIT Warangal with 550 seats. When it comes to the total number of students, NIT Warangal takes the lead with their 4,481 students. NIT Trichy has 4,287 students and NIT Suratkal houses 4,205 students. 79.91% of students studying at NIT Trichy are boys and 20.09% are girls. Among the students studying in NIT Warangal, 75.23% are boys and 24.77% are girls. In NIT Suratkal, there are 79.08% of boys and 20.82% of girls. NIT Trichy has 1,520 students from Tamil Nadu, 2,325 students from outside the state and 442 students from abroad. NIT Warangal has 1,916 students from Telangana, 2,079 students from outside the state and 486 students from abroad. NIT Suratkal holds 1,504 students from Karnataka, 2,629 students from other parts of India and 72 students from outside the country. NIT Suratkal has 594 full-time and 162 part-time PhD students. NIT Trichy has 568 full-time and 380 part-time students, while NIT Warangal has 492 full-time and 169 part-time PhD students. Last year from NIT Suratkal, 101 full-time and 23 part-time students graduated with a PhD. From NIT Trichy, 63 full-time and 18 part-time scholars graduated and from NIT Warangal, 49 full-time and 15 part-time students graduated with a doctorate. NIT Suratkal has the highest BTEC graduation percentage of 98.79, while NIT Trichy sees a drop graduation percentage of 96.98. Following them comes NIT Warangal with a dropped graduation percentage of 91.44%. Among the graduates, 8.9% of the students from NIT Suratkal have opted to go for higher studies. 19.73% of the students from NIT Trichy have decided to go on for higher education and 9.04% of the students from NIT Warangal have decided to study further. 
When compared to the previous year, NIT Trichy's M.Tech graduation has improved to 94.35%. NIT Varangal's PG graduation also improved to 90.73%. NIT Suratkal follows them with a drop graduation percentage of 84.19%. 4.78% of the students from NIT Trichy have opted to go on for higher education, while 11.16% of students from NIT Varangal decided to study further. 5.89% of students from NIT Suratkal have chosen to do higher education. Under BTEC placements, all the institutions have performed well. However, MTech placements are quite low. NIT Varangal's BTEC program has a placement percentage of 90.04%, while NIT Trichy has an improved percentage of 86.88%. NIT Suratkal's placements have moved down to 86.21%. The number of students placed from NIT Suratkal is higher with a count of 644 students. The number of students who got placed from NIT Trichy is 583 and from NIT Varangal 543. NIT Trichy's M.Tech placements are the best when compared to all three by placing 93.46% of the PG students. NIT Suratkal has placed 74.7% of its students. Following this is NIT Varangal with a placement of 61.76% of students. NIT Trichy has placed more PG students with a count of 372, while NIT Suratkal has placed 322 students and NIT Varangal has placed 231 students. Placed students from all the three institutions are offered a competitive salary package, but students from NIT Varangal have been offered a better salary package. The median salary package of BTEC students from NIT Varangal has improved to 8.37 lakhs per annum while NIT Trichy's median salary package has improved to 7.5 lakhs per annum. NIT Suratkal's BTEC students were offered 7.1 lakhs per annum as a median salary package. Among the three colleges, MTech students from NIT Varangal have received the best salary with 7.44 lakhs per annum. A median salary package of 7 lakhs per annum was offered to students from NIT Suratkal, while NIT Trichy has received 6 lakhs as a median salary. Most recruiters prefer to hire from NITs because of the quality graduates they produce. Some of the recruiters who hire students from these institutions are Wipro, IBM, Infosys, Cognizant, Microsoft, Dell, Accenture, and many others. The complete list of companies that recruit from the individual colleges is given in the description box below. Both NIT Trichy and NIT Suratkal have a well-experienced and proficient team of faculty members who nurture students into better professionals. NIT Trichy has a total of 327 faculty members, out of which 74.92% hold a doctorate. With this, the institution has one faculty member for every 13 students. NIT Varangal has 347 teachers, among which 86.45% are PhD holders. With this, NIT Varangal has one faculty member for every 13 students. NIT Suratkal has 327 professors, out of which 77.67% are PhD holders, and the institution has one faculty member for every 14 students. All three NITs have a well-experienced and proficient team of faculty members who nurture the students into better professionals. These NITs have specialized labs for research and development programs. This leads to a wide range of research grants from central and state governments. Apart from these, faculty members from all three institutions participate in international collaborative research projects and raise the standard of their research programs. In recent years, NIT Suratkal has published 10 patents, NIT Varangal has published 5 patents, and NIT Trichy has published none. Two patents from NIT Varangal have been granted in the past year, while no patents from the other two institutions were granted. NIT Trichy has received over 75 crores as sponsored research funding, while NIT Suratkal has received over 11 crores as sponsored research funding. Following both, NIT Varangal has received over 5 crores as sponsored research funds. As consultancy project funds, NIT Varangal has received over 2.66 crores, NIT Suratkal has received over 2.54 crores, and NIT Trichy has received over 2.31 crores. NIT Trichy has spent over 108 crores as its capital expenditure, out of which 95.21% has been spent on new equipment for laboratories, and over 148 crores was spent as operational expenditure. Out of this, a huge part went toward salaries of the faculty members. 
NIT Warangal has spent over 6 crores as annual capital expenses. Out of this, 56.92% was spent on the library. Over 135 crores were spent as operational expenses, out of which a huge part went toward the salaries of the staff. NIT Suratkal has spent over 22 crores as capital expenditure. In this, 51.07% went toward the creation of capital assets. Over 125 crores were spent as operational expenditure, out of which 55.86% was spent on the salaries of the staff. Along with outstanding education, all three institutions organize notable cultural events in the country. NIT Trichy's Festember is the four-day annual cultural festival of the college. The event includes pro nights with several celebrity bands coming down to rock the campus with their soul swaying music. Spring Spree, a three-day annual cultural event of NIT Warangal, consists of various events in the fields of art, literature, drama, dance, music, quizzing, photography, and painting. Incident is the annual cultural festival of NIT Suratkal, which is one of the largest cultural fests of South India, with a footfall of over 40,000 every year from all over the country. It comprises over 60 events in total, which attract huge student crowds. Other than the cultural events, these institutions actively involve themselves in organizing seminars and workshops to train students in current trends in technology. Considering all the facts, all three NITs have performed their best in different parameters. They maintain good graduation and decent placement percentages. The salaries offered to the students are also pretty decent. We can see that these institutions have the most skilled faculty members who contribute their best for the betterment of the students and the institution. NIT Trichy has brought in a huge amount as research funding, proving its excellence in research and development areas. Also comparing notes, it's clear that NIT Trichy has an edge over the other two in overall performance, although all three have done their best in specific parameters. All of these renowned institutes not only render world-class education, but also prove themselves to be the leaders in technical education and bring out better professionals for society. What other interesting college comparisons would you like to see? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and for more information visit collegesuggest.com.